Hey guys in YouTube land, this is my Unconquered Schizophrenia channel. Uh, I'm your friendly neighbor, Robert Francis. I'm an LCSW who has lived with schizophrenia for a really, really long time, pushing a quarter century. And I've been a uh, LCSW talk therapist for like 15 years, not days. Okay, although it feels like days sometimes. Okay. So today's video is uh, on a, such an important topic, it's schizophrenia and reality. And I've noticed when I do v videos on reality, people kind of, uh, seems to me like they get the most viewers. Um, schizophrenia primarily is a rendering through the concept of reality. So that's why it's so very important. And you know, people with schizophrenia are always told they're out of touch with reality, out of touch with reality, out of touch with reality. So what does that mean, though? Um, people never define reality um, in terms of why somebody may be out of it. In my book on conquering schizophrenia, um, before conquering schizophrenia, I write about the concept of, of reality and what it is actually um, as we go about our daily business. In chapter 4... On tacit agreement and social construction, and that's where I tackle the concept of reality. Um, reality, uh, there's you have your own personal reality, and that's schizophrenia, and that includes all sorts of strange absurdities and symptoms, and you know the score behind that. But the greater reality that we have to function and function within is the societal reality, and what is that based on? Tacit agreement. It's based on tacit agreement. Tacit agreement is agreements, agreements to, uh, between people without any spoken words. If you harken back down to the uh, 1776 with the Declaration of Independence that each person has the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that is a kind of a tacit agreement. We go about our business with those understandings that I have a right to pursue my uh, happiness um, and pursue what I want to pursue, and you have the same. We don't have to tell each other that. It's assumed. Also assumed is that in a social context, you're going to respect me, and I'm going to respect you for the most part. Sometimes tacit agreement gets uh, bruised, and people get uh, in conflict with one another. Um, divorces, um, that that's another example of tacit agreement gone astray. But, um, and sometimes people get in arguments and such, so um, that's kind of a uh, violation of tacit agreement. But the greater tacit agreement within society is that you respect me and I'll go about my business and I'll respect you and you go about your business. So in schizophrenia, you have your own personal reality, which can be very schizophrenia-ish. Um, but it's uh, also a nested in the larger societal um, reality. And uh, you have to, to be able to recover from schizophrenia, you have to be able to um, express yourself appropriately within the societal, greater societal reality based on tacit agreement. And one of those tacit agreements is that you're not going to say things that are totally out of context or behave totally out of context which often happens in schizophrenia. I'm way, way, way over on time, guys, but um, I had to address that. Um, comments are always welcome. Questions are always welcome. And I appreciate each and every one of you. And uh, thank you for viewing my uh, channel. And uh, I wish you the best of days today. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.